Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how you can do a swept boss base using SOLIDWORKS. We're going to start by opening SOLIDWORKS and then a new part. And once we've done that we're going to select the top plane, right click it and say new sketch. We're then going to draw a shape in the middle of our page. I'm going to use a polygon, just going to do a hexagon and I'm going to draw it from the point of origin. So I'm drawing it so it lines up with that those red arrows in the middle of the page. Once I've done that you can see that that's a closed profile because it's gone grey and I'm now going to exit that sketch. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and rotate the page just to show you what we do next. Next we're going to select the front plane which is the plane that comes up perpendicular from the top plane we say a new sketch and then I'm going to normal to and at this point it may look a little bit strange because the hexagon when you look at it from the side is a line. I'm going to zoom out and position my hexagon so it's near the bottom of the page and on this new sketch so on sketch 2 I'm going to use a spline tool I'm going to come down to the point of origin, so I'm going to make sure it intersects with the, the hexagon that's there, so you can see that as I bring it over I get the yellow dot at the back of the pencil. I click once there, and I'm now just going to do a nice smooth sweeping path. Uh, once you're happy with that, you hit escape on the keyboard to, to finish that. Now at this moment this path is a little bit too, uh, it, it curves too much here for that hexagon to swing around it. So I'm just going to select it and use the handle there to move that, uh, that line. So the spline is curving just to make it a little bit more flowing. If it's too angular or if it crosses itself it won't work now. When you're happy with that path we say exit sketch and I'm just going to rotate the uh, the 3D space to show you this again. We've now got the hexagon on the top plane and we've got this hook shape on the front plane that comes out uh, so it intersects with the the top plane and it comes out and it hooks round and swings around on the front plane. So I'm now not in a sketch and at this point I'm going to go to swept boss base on the top left of the features panel. Uh, it's already selected the, the path, so it's already said sketch 2 is going to be the path that's, uh, that it's going to sweep along. Now I need to select the profile, so I select the profile on the left, come down and select the hexagon, and you can see there that it sent the hexagon, it swept it along the path, giving us the swept boss base. Uh, I accept that with the tick, and there we have a swept boss base in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, it is editable, we could go back into this and adjust it by uh, changing the sketches, so if I just go to edit sketch on the left I could actually select this, change the shape of it. Uh, you've got to make sure that we don't over constrain it, so if it becomes too curved or if it becomes if the, the curves become uh, too acute it would, it would uh, stop it from sweeping but that does give you an element of flexibility once you've drawn it to change it to see uh, to try and make it exactly what you want so there we have swept boss base on SOLIDWORKS thank you